Happy Hanukkah from Mobile, Alabama. I'm Rabbi Steve Silberman from Congregational Havas Chesed, and we're here tonight to just help people light candles for Hanukkah, which you may recall that chief among the observances of the holiday of Hanukkah is lighting the Hanukkah flames. Some people call it a Hanukkah or a Hanukkah menorah. placing one candle at the far right hand side of the Hanukkah menorah and then light that flame. So we put in, starting on the right hand side, one, two, three, four, and then we light in reverse order, four, three, two, one. The blessings are as follows. First, we light the helper candle in order to not burn our fingers. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Asher kitshanu v'mitzvotav V'tzivanu l'halikner shel chanukam Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam She'asa nisim avotenu Bayamim ha'em Bazman hazeh And on the first time only, this blessing, the Shafianu. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Shehechianu V'kiyamanu V'higiyanu L'azman hazeh Why do we light Hanukkah candles in the first place? According to our tradition, 2,200 years ago, when the Judeans were fighting for religious freedom, after managing to kick the Syrian Greeks out of control of Judea, they cleansed the temple, and they sought oil to light the menorah, which was a seven-branched flame holder. They only found enough oil for one day, Miraculously, it burned eight days until new oil could be prepared. That menorah was seven-branched. That was a central element to ancient temple Judean worship. Unfortunately, about 230 years later, the temple was destroyed. The seven-branched menorah was taken out of use. And ever since, the only reference to our having a seven-branched menorah is in synagogue art and artwork and architecture. So we maintain lighting the menorah for eight nights as a reminder that the oil lasted miraculously when the Judeans wanted to rekindle the seven-branched menorah. different versions of lighting menorahs. You might see a menorah like this, or perhaps if you have small children or pets, you might light a menorah inside a tank. To be honest, 2,200 years ago, probably most Judeans had a menorah that looked like this, and every night they would add an additional flame or flask. So eventually by the end of the holiday, they probably had even eight little Nehrot candles on display.
shamash somewhere on the Hanukkah menorah. Frankly, as we light the flames, we don't want to burn our fingers, and so we use another candle. And so sometimes you just put a candle here up on the side or on the edge. It distinguishes the helper candle from the main candles. You don't want to confuse people as to which night you are celebrating. So the first night we light one, the second night two, the third night three, the eighth night eight, and the helper candle is off to the side so as to not confuse people with the count of the nights of Hanukkah. to place the Hanukkah by a window or by a door. Chief among the observances is promoting the miracle of the flame. Books. The nickname for a songbook in Yiddish, which is a language compiled from Hebrew and German, is a bencher. And so, for example, in most benchers or songbooks and prayer books, you'll find the blessings for Hanukkah. You can also find them in the prayer book. Any given, every major Jewish prayer book has the blessings for Hanukkah. And once people finish lighting the Hanukkah candles, typically they sing some songs around the table. The most famous is Ma'oz Tzur.